What up there guys, this is Jughead82 and this video is a quick video, real quick. It's not going to be too long or fast. It's going to be too long or fast. That doesn't make any sense. Um, I did a video a while back uh, of a beer I drank a lot, and it was not a while back, but a minute, called Corona Extra. Didn't too much care for Corona Light. Uh, Corona Extra is a really good, good, good beer. A really good soleza. And uh, my sister recently was, told me about uh, the 24 ounce can of Corona they have. And this is the can right here, Corona Extra in the can. And I've never tasted this beer, but my sister said it's shit to her. Tastes kind of flat, doesn't have a really good um, taste. So, without further ado, I'm going to pop this open. Uh, this is, like I said, it's a quick vid, really quick to, of drinking this beer. Because I already did a review of Corona Extra before, but this is the can beer. The first thing we're going to do is smell it. it. Smells like Corona. And I'm going to drink it out the can. See how it is in the glass. I don't have to trust the mug today, but uh, this is a quick video. It's got a lot of oxidation going on. It's got a Corona taste to it, but it is flat. And I would stick to bottle Corona. Uh, I don't see what this really, it doesn't have a really good taste in my opinion. It kind of is the same like I had with the, um, um, I had a canned Heineken instead of a bottled Heineken and it tastes a lot different. Uh, makes me want to do a video of bottled beer versus canned beer. Huh. But yeah. Yeah, if you see Corona in the bottle, take it. And then I noticed another thing, too. The 24-ounce can is actually cheaper than the 24-ounce bottle. So it's maybe more cheaply made. And by being in a can, it's more compressed or something. I don't know. Tastes like it's not a Corona taste. It has a little hint of a Corona taste, but it's not strong. I can gulp this shit up every time. And it's, yeah. But yeah. You guys take it easy, peace. Have a good one. <sighs>